Hi, this is Jack from technologywithintention.com. I'm playing with Replay Note, and uh, today I'm really looking at YouTube annotations and trying to think about ways to use annotations and timeline markers for low stakes self study at home. Uh, what I'm looking to do is take the idea of flipped instruction, where students are um, learning or reviewing material at home, and try and build in some interactivity with that. So for the sake of this example, I'm going to use the concept of fractions. We are reviewing fractions today. Here's an example of a fraction. Three, and then a line underneath it, and then a four on the bottom. So this is a typical fraction. What does it mean? Um, well, a fraction is, is a part of a whole number. So whole numbers on a number line, um, you know, we have zero, and we have one, and we have two. We have three, and we can actually go backwards to negative numbers. Um, but for the sake of this, uh, we're going to stick with positive numbers. So three over four is some portion of a whole number. Um, one way to think about it is a piece of pie or cake. Uh, and the number on the bottom right here, which is called the denominator, um, tells you how many pieces to divide that pizza or cake or cookie into. So um, here it says four. So I'm going to divide this circle into four pieces and then the numerator which is the number on the top that tells you how many of those portions of a whole you have so here it's the number three so I'm going to go ahead and fill in three of these portions one two three now if I had four pieces I would have um, a whole I would have one two three four pieces would make a whole, but I don't. I only have three of those four pieces. Um, that's represented by this fraction, which is three over four. It can also be said as three-fourths. So just to quickly review, the number on the bottom is the total number of pieces that a whole is broken into, and the number at the top is how many of those pieces you have. There are special names for the, these, uh, the one on the bottom is called the denominator. And the one on the top is called the numerator. Uh, how do you spell that? Looks good. Okay. Um, one quick tip the way that I think about these is uh, D for down. The denominator is on the bottom. Uh, and N. It's not for up necessarily. N is for noogies. Noogies happen uh, on top of your head. So it's one way to remember the parts of a fraction. All right, now we're going to move into a quiz. This is going to be interactive, and it's going to require you to click on the screen at the appropriate time. All right, question number one on the interactive quiz. Here's a fraction, a one and a line, and then a six on the bottom. First question is, what part of the fraction is the number 6? Is it the numerator or the denominator? Make your selection now, please. You didn't make a choice in the time that was allowed. Please click this button to go back and start the question again. Thanks. You guessed that the number 6 was the numerator. If we remember, the way to think about this is, the, uh, is either a numerator or a denominator. And the denominator is on the bottom, D for down, whereas the numerator is on the top, and uh, that's where noogies happen. Top of the head. Um, so. Please remember, the denominator is on the bottom of the line. In this case, 6 is actually the denominator. Please click here to go back and try this question one more time. You guessed that 6 was the denominator. 
not sure how you remembered that, but you are exactly right. 6 is the denominator d for down, whereas in this case, 1 would be the numerator. Congratulations. Sounds like you understand this concept. You can move on to question 2. Question number 2. Here's a fraction. 5, line 8. 5 over 8. Is this fraction more or less than 1? Is this fraction more or less than 1? Go ahead and make your guess now. You didn't answer the question in the time allowed. Please click this button to go back and make your decision. Thank you. You guessed that 5 over 8 is more than 1. Let's go ahead and test that. Remember that 1 is represented by a cookie or pizza or something that's round. And the first step is to take the denominator, which is the number on the bottom, d for down, and go ahead and break your cookie into that many pieces. So I'm going to start by breaking it into 2 and then half again. And like so, eight approximately equal pieces. Now we can label these if we'd like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight pieces here. Great. Okay. So now we are going to color in because we have the uh, this many. Five, which is the numerator where you get the nuggies on the top. Okay. So let's go ahead and color those in. One, two, three. Four, five. We have this many pieces out of eight pieces. So we actually have less than one whole. To make one, we would need one, two, three more pieces that we don't have. So nice guess. Go ahead and review by clicking on this button the parts of uh, the fraction. And you can come back and try question two again. Thank you. You guessed that 5 over 8, or 5 eighths, is less than 1. This picture is a visual representation, um, and you are exactly right. 5 eighths are 5 pieces out of 8 that we would need to make 1. Congratulations. You seem to understand the concept of fractions.